Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to look at some spooky Scorch locations. I found this map that was posted by Orbital Frame about a year ago. Uh, let's comment on some of the locations um, he or she pointed out and then I will post a list in the description and I'll just mention a couple of other things on this map. So let, let's start at the top and let's look at where we think the, Scottish, the, the, the Spooky Scorch will spawn. I've heard so far that if you do the event at Fort Defiance, which is lying in the sand, it, it, some people are seeing up to 15 spawn, but again, it's RNG, the, 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 the server might be bugged a little, so don't necessarily expect 15 there, but that sounds like a good event to do. Of course, the one at Morgantown, I did it yesterday, and you got three out of that one. Um, normally I'd see a little bit more there. Uh, but anyway, let's start at the top. So these are all the locations, or most of the locations, not all I should say, I said most of the locations, or maybe the key locations where we would possibly see Scorched. And I'll mention a couple of extra ones that aren't, aren't on the map. But let's start at the top. We've got Wavy Willards Park, of course. Uh, the Back, Back Bear Lodge. So if you're going to go do sort of a, a route, I guess you could do like a circle, yeah. Uh, Back, Back Bear Lodge, uh, the Palace of the Winding Path. Um, because the uh, Palace of the Winding Path is an instance, you should be able to see them in, get get them inside the building. Just remember, anything inside an instance, you will not uh, get them in, in the instance, right? It's just outside of the buildings, right? Um, Thunder Mountain, so I went there as well. I got, I think I got two at Thunder Mountain yesterday. Um, also, don't forget uh, the Fisher sites, right? So we've got Moss Town, yeah. But there's a Fisher site right um, right next to Moss Town, so head up there if you want. Um, there's another one um, up here by, um, I forget the cabins, I forget the name of the cabin. But anyway, there's a cabin and there's a Fisher site right next to it, of course. And there's actually a hidden, um, there's a hidden Fisher site at Hopewell Cave. So this is the kind of location I tend to go to because you, you spawn in and just kind of in this little circle, there's a a um, hidden fissure uh, site and of course it spawns a ton of legendaries um, well uh, of scorch and then of course I would imagine some some legendary scorch as well and of course a scorch beast so if you can handle yourself and scorch beast then yeah head, head to the fissure site of course don't forget um, you know uh, the, the the queen and stuff like that you'll probably find a bunch there right so anyway just moving from from left to right I guess Thunder Mountain, Moss Town, hit the Fisher site, Berkeley Springs of course, um, Harper's Ferry I don't think really spawn Scorch I, I think that it's kind of a it's, it's kind of a random thing there so I think sometimes they do I haven't been there for a little while. Um, you know, it's between ghouls and scorch and super mutants, I guess, is what you're probably going to find there. But I guess it does its turn, right? So that's probably still accurate. But probably, you know, I probably would skip that, to be honest. Because, you know, if you hit a non-scorch, it's going to waste your time there, right? Uh, Camp Venture, of course, has, has a bunch of scorch there um, as well. Just trying to see if there's anything else here that I would point out. Okay, the Ranger District Office, of course, has has a bunch of Scorch. Uh, Fort, Fort Defiance, of course, again, not inside the in Fort Defiance, stay outside, do line in the sand if you see it. And, of course, on the outside, you'll see, see a bunch of Scorch there as well, right? Um, then kind of swinging by, sort of, and then we'll head up the map. Uh, Camden Park, of course, there's a whole bunch, there's a whole... Don't forget to clear the entire park, there's a whole bunch there. Poseidon Energy Plant as well. Um, also down... Um, down at these power plants, uh, I know there's one in the ash heap here. Yeah. Let me see if I can find it. It's about Big Ben. Yeah, just these power plants, like the Morga, I forget, Monago power substation. Sorry, the substations will have scorch. So there's one over there. I know there's one up um, by the train station up here. There's this this uh, Monago power station as well. They all have scorch as well. So if you want to add that to your list as well. Um, Poseidon, of course, there's a whole whack there. Um, quite a big area to clear. Charleston Capital Building, the Overlook Cabin, uh, Lakeside Cabins. I don't think the that's where the workshop is. So I'm not really. I don't think there's any there to be honest. Uh, so I probably wouldn't bother with that one. I would have said some of the docks definitely has scorch, right? So I'd jump from probably Overlook Cabin. If you're going to go there to some of the docks, I'd probably skip lakeside cabins, right? 
Uh, Cliff Watch is Blood Eagles now, so that doesn't have that anymore. So I would skip that. Of course, Top of the World. Um, yeah, that's going to be a mix of Scorch, I guess. Scorch and Mole Miners. Again, one of those, those like Hoppers Ferry. I might give that a skip. That's not for sure batch, right? Halvetia, Halvetia, of course. Sultan, um, Sultan, of course. Uh, Morgantown Trail Yard, of course. Uh, don't forget the Portside Pub. There's three over there at the Portside Pub. So if you're going to hit the rail yard, just head over there as well. I always head over there if I'm looking for them as well. Um, outside Morgantown School as well, there's, there's a few there. Again, the guy, uh, um, um, Orbital is just pointing out, I think, I guess the main areas here, right? Uh, and of course, you know, finally do the Morgantown Airport plus do the event. Um, as well, like I said, and then another another one that I'd normally hit is, and I didn't, I wasn't successful yesterday, but at the Groves Cabin family cabin at the top here is always Scorch, um, and there's about six or seven, but I didn't, I didn't see any yesterday. But typically during the Scorch event, I would head up there, right? So anyway, there, there's some, there, there's kind of a route that you could follow, um, and just make a route and just you know go through go through the thing whatever your route you decide and which ones you want to hit or not make a list i'll add a list to uh their um the description as well just to kind of add another list i found online and i'll add it to that as well so um you know you can just hit there's just some ideas where you can hit and places to go and find these scorch anyway that's all i got thanks for watching enjoy enjoy the event um and uh good luck hopefully you find some and for the new players you know the reason why you want to hunt down these scorches of course do the daily challenges uh there's daily challenge that you can do five collect five candies kind of two challenges collect five candy eat five candy or, or sorry give out five candy and then eat five candy so please do go to everyone's camps they rely on you guys to kind of be part of the Halloween event and, and taking their candy. It's kind of part of the challenge. If you're lazy like me um, and have a friend, all you need to do is is put your candy bowl down, drop your camp, move your camp to another location, put your camp back, and then you will uh, be able to take a second candy. Otherwise, you'll have to wait for the cooldown timer, which I think is an hour. Um, they did patch it where you could just store your candy bowl at, the, at your one camp and put it back. I thought that was still... Uh, available but it looks like they've patched that so they, they smartened up a little bit knowing people would do that but you can still move your camp and put it back it's an extra it's a minute per per move because you have to move it and then to wait 30 seconds move it back right so uh, i again recommend go to people's camps enjoy the event have fun um and, and do that and then of course a collect collect five candy as well uh, and give five candy out and the second part of that is hunt down these scorch there's another challenge to hunt down five scorch and then, um, you know, uh, part of the challenge, get five scorch, of course, spooky scorch, and then you'll get legendaries and some some spooky bags as well with some um, uh, loot and rewards and, and plans, right? So do do that and have fun. So, of course, you can do it on a private, on a public server, and your your, your luck's going to be, depending if somebody's been in that area, it's going to be a lot harder to do, of course, Um but if you have private server and fallout first, of course, that'll be the way to go. And then you can um, get some uh, thing. Also, you could take uh, workshops. Like if you take Tyler Grant, uh, again, it's going to be hit or miss. But sometimes you'll get, you know, four or five waves at Tyler Country, for instance. Um, uh, you know, so, but then again, it's a mix of enemies. You could get... Um, you get robots, you get other stuff as well, right? But if you are on private server, so take take the country, tell the current ground, you might have five ways of scorch as well, right? So anyway, let me know if you other areas in the in the in the comment section. Like I said, hit the Fisher sites. That's probably a good bet. You could just keep spawning them. Um, uh, take take some ultra site. Take one piece of ultra site. Once you've done with like a wave of scorch and killed the scorch beast. Take uh, one ultra site and then more scorch will come. Don't take a whole bunch of ultra sites. Um, just take one at a time. Let them let let the wave come. I believe that still works. Let me know if it doesn't. Uh, I haven't tried it this this event, but I don't think they will change the the mechanics too much. There, right? So anyway, good luck. Thanks for watching.